hey you guys welcome to my channel budging my abundance i am the abundant mama and this is the channel where i am documenting my journey to becoming financially free living a financially independent life and i do that with some cash stuffing videos as well as sinking fun videos and a little bit of savings challenges along the way um if that is something that you're interested in hit that like and subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that way you know every time a new video is uploaded so we are in week two of the ODBJ series which is our different budgeting journeys and in this week we will be discussing um, our house and when I say how that is more of a how did I get started budgeting and not how do I budget um, because I believe that maybe next week on how we budget and that that title is actually our method so like how like what is our method for budgeting but this week we're going to talk about how I got started in the whole budgeting community so how I got started was um kind of it definitely kind of correlates to my why um like uh, in my last video, I said like, I want to be financially free and independent. I want us to have our own home and I want my own business. Well, I was suffering from depression after I had my baby um, because I had to move back in with my family. And so in a way to try to knock me out of that funk was I started binging on YouTube. And in that binging, I found um, a budgeter named Baddies and Budgets. And I started watching her and I started binging her. And I started like looking at her methods and how she came up, how she was doing her things and like looking at how she was paying off her student loans, how she was like paying for her doctor visits because she pays them out of pocket, how she has created her month ahead fund and um, how she was saving up money to get her own place and things like that. And it was just like, honestly, she was doing everything that I want to do. And something in my head was like, yo, I'm just going, like, whatever she's doing, I'm about to do. And that's kind of what uh, she was. So she was one person on how I got started. The second person who um, basically inspired me was um, the Crafty Budgeter. I love her. She's so positive. And um, she was just, like, Baddies and Budgets was more of her inspiration was her methodology and how she did everything. The Crafty Budgeter, her inspiration for me was just her attitude. Like she was just so positive and bubbly. And I, in that moment, I needed that. I needed to just feed off of that. So I was just watching her and like letting her positivity just soak into me. And honestly, I feel like they helped me pull me out of that depression. And I started to uh, come up with my budget and I decided, okay, um, I'm gonna, and I told my husband, like, um, you don't have to do it. I want to see if I do it and how well it works. And then if it works really, really well, then this is what we're gonna be doing. It was like, it wasn't a, hey, maybe we should. It was more like, this is what we're going to be doing. And then, you know, I'm stubborn. But if it like, so far it's been working for me. So I'm still kind of nitpicking to see if I can get him to join, but yeah. Oh, and also you guys, if you see this, please ignore that. That's um, for another video. But um, so my first thing that I did was um, I went on Baddies and Budgets website because she has a website where she sells like these beginner bundles and everything. And from somebody who at the moment was, who at that time was unemployed because this is during like, um, right towards the end of my maternity leave. So I was actively looking for a job because my old job was in Georgia and I couldn't take it with me. Um, I was, I wanted to buy her bundle set and then I saw how much it cost. And I was like, Ooh, I don't have no money. Um, this is 16 bucks on Amazon. So that's what I did. I bought me a regular Della basic budgeting binder and Based, I just use what they have and it's been working for me now I, throughout the year I you know end up buying a cricket machine and then I do my own thing because I'm trying to get my own business together but that's how I started and then um 
it took me some time, but I had to actually sit down and be honest with myself again when it came to like my budgeting and my expenses. And what made me think about is like, I watched this other person where she actually, I can't think of her name. It was so, it was so long ago, but I, I just happened to see her video. I didn't actually subscribe to her, but she does this thing where um, some of her viewers will send her their information and she does the budget for them so she could tell if they have more income coming in or more expenses than income and so that was kind of like an eye-opening thing for me where I was like okay so I need to do this I need to figure out if I need more income coming in and at the time I did um definitely did and so I wanted to find a side hustle that would still allow me time to be with my, my baby, because, you know, new mom. Um, and the only thing I could think of at the time was YouTube. So it's like, this will be like killing two birds with one stone, where I can budget and then uh, have my YouTube channel, because I wanted the YouTube channel for a very long time. I just didn't know what I wanted it to be. And that is my dog whining, give me one second. Okay, so as I was saying, I wanted a YouTube channel for, at the time, about going on two years. I just never knew what I wanted my uh, topic or my niche to be. And I thought, okay, well, this is a great way to kill two birds from one stone. I can budget and work my our way through our debt and become financially independent while having this YouTube channel and eventually becoming monetized, making it a side hustle. And I actually got that idea not from baddies and budgets or the crafty budgeter but from um another youtuber named launch to wealth she um is a lady that is always giving out all types of side hustle ideas for what mainly for women um that to just you know either make enough money to become your new job or you know just as a side hustle and she brought it up a few times and it's like you know what i feel like she's speaking to me because i've been wanting this for some years what am I waiting on? So that's how I started budgeting. And that's how I started budgeting on YouTube. Um, it is helping me with my finances to reach my goals. It is holding, this channel is helping me hold myself accountable to make sure that I finish what I start because I have a bad habit of not finishing what I start. And eventually I will be monetized. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I'm gonna get there. So that is how I started to budget and these are the people that started, these are the people that inspired me to budget. Um, so that is my how. Now for our ODBJ series, there are 26 other budget, counting myself, there are 26 budgeters that are all doing this. Um, so the, I'm gonna name off two budgeters um, that are like, there's a whole list of us. And the two budgeters that I'm gonna name off is like one that's in front of me and the one that's behind me. So the one that's in front of me, I believe is Faith by Design. And then the one that's behind me is Anita Budgets. And then they will be tagged in um, in my description. Also this uh, movement and the series was created by Budgeting April. Cause if honestly, if you don't know, it's cause you've been under a rock, but it's okay. I've been under a rock for a while too. But uh, I'm lifting a rock. I'm letting you know this is created by Budgeting April. She also created the BCL movement. So go ahead and check out her video as well. So uh, I think that's all I have for today. And sorry if it's a little rambly. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Like I had everything in my head how I wanted to say it. But when it came down to me actually saying it, it didn't work out that great. But it's okay. Um, I'm the Abundant Mama. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.